Oh, praise the Lord. Welcome to the channel. So very thankful for another beautiful day that the Lord has given us, the Lord has blessed us with. God is good. And we are to praise God always for His love, for His mercy, for His grace, for His presence in our lives, that God is always with us, that God never abandons us. And here I would like to look at Psalm 23 and continuing on the series of devotionals on the Psalms. And obviously, Psalm 23, that is one of the most well-known Psalms, if not the most well-known Psalm, the most famous one. And in this Psalm, it says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they come for me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Hallelujah. We are to be thankful that the Lord is our shepherd. The Lord is the one who guides us, who leads us, who makes sure that we are not lost, that we do not fall away, that we do not backslide into the hands of the devil and into sin, that the Lord is our shepherd, that he is the one in whom we are to look to. He is the one in whom we are always to listen to his voice, to listen to the voice of the shepherd when he calls, to listen to God who calls us, God who provides for us, that in God we do not lack anything. In God there is nothing that we can possibly lack. In the Lord we have everything that we need. In God we have it all. He is the one who is able to lead us and to guide us. He is the one who is always with us. That even though we may walk through trials and tribulations and walk through the darkest valleys and, and walk through troubling times, walk through setbacks, walk through mistakes, walk through those moments where we may have doubt, walk through those times when we may not want to have anything to do with God, we may not have want to have anything to do with His Word or with prayer or with God's people or anything like that. We all go through those moments in our lives. But God is still with us. God does not abandon us. The Eternal is always with us. And a comforting thing in in looking at this psalm, Psalm 23, is that we are walking through that dark valley. We do not stay in that dark valley. And not only that we do not stay in that dark valley, but God is still with us. The psalm here testifies that even though I walk through the darkest valley, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, it says, you are with me. Even in those dark moments of our lives, God is still with us. God has not abandoned us. God is still with his children. He knows that we're not perfect. He knows that we cannot perfectly live for him and do things the right way all the time according to God's will and live according to God's ways and live in godliness. He knows that it's a struggle. God knows that it's a battle that we face every single day, that we're always tempted by sin. We're constantly bombarded with different temptations all around us of various degrees. And yet God still is still with us. He does not abandon us. He does not leave us alone. He knows that in those times of darkness, that we still need the Lord. That is when we most need of God. Whether we admit it or not, that is when we most need of the Lord. It's during those moments that we are going through something that 
we don't know if we're going to get out of it. When we do something that we know that we will have to repent of, God is still with his people. The Lord does not abandon us. It says even here in verse 5, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Even in the presence of our enemies. Even in the presence of troubling situations and, and, and of things that we know where we may be set up for failure in situations where we know that the outcome is not going to be good, but yet God is still with us there, even in the presence of our enemies, that we can still overcome, that we can still look to our enemies right in the face and be like, I am not here by myself. I am not here alone, but the Lord is with me. No matter what, God is still with us. It says here, Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Praise God. The goodness of the Lord, the love of God, is always with His people, is always with us. We are to be encouraged. We are to take comfort. We are to just have that hope in knowing that the goodness of God, the love of God is always with us. God does not abandon us. God does not leave us behind. God does not just let us be, but the Lord is with us, even in the presence of our enemies, even when we are walking through the darkest valleys, even when we are walking through the valley of the shadow of death, but the Lord, he does not abandon us. Let us take comfort in these words. Let us take comfort in these scriptures. Let us dive deep more and more into the meaning of this psalm. That is not just a psalm that is read aloud sometimes in funerals. It's not just a psalm that we may have learned in Sunday school or growing up, you know. It's not just a psalm that it's it's nice to memorize and to remember, but that it is something that we deeply, deeply dive into and deeply try to understand as much of it as we can in understanding that the Lord, he is always with his people. He is our shepherd. There is no greater shepherd. There is no greater pastor than the Lord. And that's not to insult any minister. That's not to insult any pastor. That's not to insult any church. But there is just no comparison. There is no shepherd like the Lord, like God. There is no shepherd like Yahweh. There is no God like the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, the Eternal, the Most High, the One who is with us, the One who never abandons us. We are to be so very thankful. We are to give God a praise. Hallelujah. Because God is good. Because the Lord Himself is our shepherd. <laughs> praise God. May this devotional, these words be uplifting, may be encouraging. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Thank you, Lord, that you are the great shepherd. There is no one like you, Lord. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Tune in for more videos on these devotionals. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Take care.